people, 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 people. Keep us a sock, pussy, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. This one is called the scam of them. Well, no, the ticker them there. What is a ticker? The taking start in America where people that wanted purses cash or purses D R U G S they would set up a buy and then when the people them come with either the cocoa, the weed or the cash, they would catch them off guard, shock and awe them, take away their product, take away their cash and in some cases take away their life. I am speaking about a constable in Clarendon that went or experienced the same thing. No, it wasn't any sorts of illicit D-R-U-G-S or cash for D-R-U-G-S. It is said that in a place called Yorktown, to be specific, Parnassus, I think I might be pronouncing it incorrectly. A constable and a friend, don't know if it's a man or a woman, more than likely a man, went to purchase some sorts of bike. When they got to the location where the bike was supposed to be at, it seems as if they were surprised by unscrupulous characters with all sorts of tool and all sorts of bad intention. It seems as if the poor poor and him friend must have smelt some sorts of rats. However, it seems as if they were caught off guard. Somewhat because after the SMOKE cleared, the poor poor was rushed to the hospital. He is in serious, maybe even critical condition with all sorts of multiple wounds, including in at the back. So therefore it tells me he was surprised, tells us. It is also said that there was BLOOD trail leading in different directions. So we see say, while he might have been caught off guard, he was kind of quick on the draw. He was more alert than the average person. The people them run take for themselves. Now people, here's the thing. Sometimes you have to wonder if some of these poor poor and I am not going to say that most persons don't do business like this. Most persons don't have their guards up and most persons do not expect that when they go to sell a phone, sell a bike, sell a laptop, that it is going to be a robbery. When you are a criminal element and a scammer, you have that gift to gab. So therefore, you are going to sound persuasive you are going to sound legitimate you are going to sound as if you are decent only to surprise these people catch them off guard catch them slipping and people it seems this is what happened in this case don't know the intricate details all i know that the popo have some sorts of manhunt for these unscrupulous characters so i say this to say that be very careful whenever you are selling anything, whether it is a phone, a laptop, a bike, or a car. People, a lot of people do not have any sorts of intention, do not have any sorts of cash. They want everything for free. And they are going to free you of your life if you put up any sorts of resistance. Just imagine this person that the poor poor brought, the constable brought to buy, to buy this bike. Had it not been for the poor poor, you know that this man or this lady would have been D-E-A-D -E without a shadow of a doubt. These people are not even giving you a chance to give them the money and relieve you and let you go. They want to take the cash and they want to take your life. Luckily or unfortunately, for these criminals, they also almost got the S-H-I-T-T-Y end of the stick. They know that whatever the injuries are that they get, if it's life-threatening, 
more than likely they cannot go to any sort of hospital nowhere in Jamaica because it is the protocol that if somebody enters any sort of hospital with any sort of injuries that seems it is from any sort of tool or wherever a poor poor report must be made however we know that we have some undercover black market doctors that are working out there for the criminal elements hopefully the injuries that they get it will be long lasting it will pretty much take them out of here it will make them reconsider the next time that they are going to go out there and try to rob anybody off their cash or off their merchandise their goods whether it is a phone whether it is a bike whether whatever it is it is good that you make an example out of somebody hopefully it will deter people however you know what i'm saying as one crook d-e-a-d -E and x hundred bond sad to say but that is the reality of jamaica so people the moral of the story is this not everything that glitters is gold not everything is as it seems you cannot trust nobody especially people that you meet on the internet everybody and most persons have ulterior motive people are desperate out there if you are going to sell anything take it to the power power station transact or do the transaction in front of the power power station if you tell people meet me in front of the power power station if they have any sorts of bad intention more than likely they are not going to show up more than likely they are going to cancel the sale or the d-e-a-t-h or robbery of you point blank and period further on in the news they say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results it seems as if stick broken at the ears of most of these drivers in Jamaica. Them have an ignorant, dark mindset. They are very selfish. They always tell themselves, nothing can happen, it can happen to me, until it happens to them. You and I know that over the past couple of years, about 400, almost 500 people, lose them life for about the last eight nine probably ten years however them now learn what is even worse a lot of these drivers them are drive all sorts of commercial vehicle 18 wheelers with no good type of tires no sorts of brakes no sorts of good suspension however them are drive like some sorts of mad bat out of hell the same was said to have happened in a place called mommy bay I am going to show you a couple of videos, then I am going to speak about it, and then I am going to show you a couple more, then I am going to speak about it. Take a listen, take a look at the first set of videos. Watch out. Watch out. I don't know how I go on, you know. But like somebody get to a party, you know, man. Watch out. Be a cement, you know. Be a cement. Watch out. I don't know who will get to up here. But a major problem up here, sir. See that? Hold on. I lost my time, I'm going to this. See that? I've got a half scotch through cement. Beer cement on the tool. Beer cement. After the truck passed me at over 100 km per hour. Look at cement on the highway. This is f***ing crazy. These drivers are sick. Now people, if you realize close to the video, there was a bright sign. That sign read, Slow. That means slow the F-U-C-K down. It applies to everybody, meaning if you're on a bike, if you're in a vehicle, sports car, especially if you are driving any sorts of 18 wheeler commercial vehicle that is loaded with all sorts of cement all sorts of dirt whatever it is it makes it easier for you to flip lose your life get injured and also take away other persons you heard the man say 
The man fly past him I go a hundred kilometers per hour in a zone where say slow down. Now, luckily this occurred at about 6 a.m. in the morning. That means say, it was not as busy, the road was not as busy with commuters going about their merry way. Because we would know that a lot of persons might have lost their life. Because of the decision, bad making decision that this man made to speed in a slow zone when he is loaded with all sorts of cement in a some sorts of old truck that more than likely has not seen any sorts of inspection, don't have proper brakes, don't have proper suspension, don't have a whole lot of things. But people, this is Jamaica, it is anything goes. Moral of the story is this. Sometimes life make an example and humble people. Sometimes it has to use some sorts of clown, some sorts of idiot as an example. Sometimes it takes away their life. In this case, this man was badly injured. People, the truth and the fact is that whenever I see these A-C-C-I-D-E-N-T-S, I am not rejoicing. However, should you choose to speed and do reckless stuff on the road and then you lose your life, I have zero sympathy for you. Yes, I sympathize with your family, your children, because they are the ones that's, that are going to suffer. However, whenever you put other person's life in jeopardy, it is always happy redundance to get rid of you. Hopefully this man don't know if he was drunk, don't know if he had any sorts of mechanical problem, don't know the specific. However, what I do know is based on one person saying that he was speeding, he was blazing, in passing a hundred kilometers per hour. In a slow zone, I doubt that it is a hundred kilometers per hour. Is the speed limit. Doubt it very much. So people, if you look, here are some other videos showing exactly what happened to the vehicle and how it ended up. Take a listen, take a look. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.